Our top focus at this hour. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has survived a challenge to his leadership, winning the backing of 59% of Tory MPs despite a significant revolt against him from members of his own party. In all, 211 Tory MPs voted for him, while 148 voted against. This means that the Prime Minister remains in office and cannot be challenged again for at least a year. And speaking after the result, Johnson said his win was decisive and he is eager to put this whole incident behind him. Listen in. Well, I think this is a, a very good result for, for politics and for, uh, for the country. Just in, it just, I, I do. Just in, in this sense, I think it's a, a convincing result, a decisive result. And what it, what it means is that as a... As a government, we can move on and focus on the stuff that I think really matters mm -hmm. to people. Sorry, and, a and, 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 and let me, let me, let me. And your allies wanted her to go straight away. How, how is this different? Look, how I, can you possibly continue? This is a, uh, a I, I've got a far bigger mandate from my own parliamentary colleagues, for instance, than I had uh, in 2019. And, uh, I'm, and, and, I, and I'm and I'm and I'm I'm grateful to I'm grateful to colleagues. I'm grateful for uh, the support that they've given me. And of course, I understand that what we need to do now is come together uh, as a as a government as a as a party. And that is exactly what we can now do. Experts say that the scale of the rebellion, however, cannot be ignored. Johnson's authority has been weakened and some ministers continue to call for his resignation while Johnson cannot be challenged again for a while, that is for 12 months. It does not mean he is completely safe. To give more context to this, Theresa May, Johnson's predecessor, was forced to leave office just six months after winning a confidence ballot of her very own. She had won her confidence vote 200 217. Opposition leaders have also slammed the result. Ed Davey of the Liberal Democrats said that Tory MPs have voted to keep a lawbreaker and liar in number 10. While K. Starmer, the Labour leader, said that the Conservative Party believed the British public had no right to expect honest politicians. Listen in. This evening, the Conservative Party had a decision to make to show some backbone or to back Boris Johnson. The British public are fed up, fed up with a Prime Minister who promises big but never delivers. Fed up with a Prime Minister who's presided over a culture of lies and law-breaking at the heart of government. Fed up with a Prime Minister who is utterly unfit for the great office that he holds. Conservative MPs made their choice tonight. They have ignored the British public and hitched themselves and their party firmly to Boris Johnson and everything that he represents. The Conservative Party now believes that good government focused on improving lives is too much to ask. Now this leadership crisis in number 10 has been months in the making. Discontent among Tory MPs has grown since Johnson and several MPs were embroiled in a series of lockdown scandals, all of which was laid bare last month in the Sue Gray report into Partygate, which was highly critical of Johnson's leadership. The Prime Minister himself was fined by the police for attending a birthday party in June 2020. This made him the UK's first serving Prime Minister to be sanctioned for breaking the law. Johnson's next challenges are not too far away. By-elections in Wakefield and Tiverton are scheduled to be held on June 23rd. And opinion polls show that the Conservatives are on their way to losing both seats. There is also the forthcoming Privileges Committee inquiry into whether Johnson knowingly misled the Parliament, all of which are expected to trigger a leadership crisis among the Conservative once again. And with many rebel Tory ministers still keen on seeing Johnson out of office, it is clear that this is not the end of this story. And for more on this, we earlier spoke to our correspondent Giles Gibson and asked him how despite winning the no-confidence motion, 
UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson's leadership does come into question considering how 40% of Tory MPs have voted against him. Listen in. This means a victory for Boris Johnson. He has managed to get over the line. He's got well over the 180 votes from Conservative MPs that he needed to stay in office, to stay as the leader of the Conservative Party and stay at number 10 Downing Street, getting 211 votes from his fellow Conservative MPs. But in another sense, this is perhaps a loss for him in the sense that he has had 148 of his own Conservative MPs. These are his colleagues. These are members of his own party who have now said behind closed doors, they don't have to reveal uh, who they voted for, which way they voted rather. But they have said that they no longer have confidence in him as the British Prime Minister. And that is, if not a loss, as I said, that is a real blow to Boris Johnson and his authority over the Conservative Party, to his authority as the Prime Minister. So uh, after this vote, he has undoubtedly survived. Uh, he lives to fight another day, uh, but he is also uh, certainly wounded. His authority has really been damaged by just the number of MPs who have decided to vote, vote against him, to, to call for him to leave office. Uh, so that 148 MPs who decided uh, to vote against him. That is roughly 40% of his uh, MPs in Parliament who've said they don't want him in place. And that is a really significant blow for a Prime Minister who is hoping to lead this party uh, into the next general election.